Hi guys, this is Chica with BorrowedDelights.com and on this episode, we are making my oatmeal fudge bars. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button so that you do not miss out on any upcoming recipe videos. So to start, we're going to make our oatmeal layer. I have here some old fashioned oats, flour, shredded coconut, salt, baking powder, cinnamon, and nutmeg that I'm combining into a bowl and then I'm gonna set that aside. In my stand mixer, I'm going to be creaming together my room temperature butter, some brown sugar, and vanilla extract. Once that's nicely combined together, I'm going to add in my oat and flour mixture and stir that in until combined. And of course, you do not need to use your stand mixer for this, you can use a wooden spoon and a bowl or a hand-tied electric mixer if you like. So you're gonna scrape down the bottom and sides of your bowl just to make sure that everything is nicely well combined. And then you're gonna take two thirds of this mixture and place it into the bottom of your baking dish in an even layer. And you'll want to ensure that you line your baking dish with some parchment paper and that there's enough overhang so you can lift this out of the pan when it's done. You're gonna go ahead and set this aside and start on the fudge layer. So I have here some sweetened condensed milk, some semi-sweet chocolate chips, some cocoa powder and cinnamon, and some butter. You're going to heat this over medium low heat until your chocolate chips are fully melted and your mixture is well combined. And as always, you guys will be able to find the exact written recipe by visiting borrowdelights.com and I will link to my site in the description box below. And if you are enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss out on any upcoming recipe videos. You're going to pour your fudge layer over your oat layer and then take the remaining oat mixture and just sprinkle it over the top of your fudge. This is going to bake in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 25 to 35 minutes. Once it's done, you'll want to let this sit in the pan for about 10 minutes and then you can lift it out and place it on a cooling rack to cool completely. Once this is cooled completely to room temperature, you can go ahead and cut these. These oatmeal fudge bars are so good. They're so chewy and gooey and just so delicious and they're not too sweet. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Be sure again to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.